Everyone, Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness in the NBC 24 Weather Center with your preview for what we'll be covering on NBC 24 News at 11 here in the Weather Department. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar and satellite picture. We had some sunshine throughout the day today, but clouded up as we went through the late afternoon. Those clouds are going to stick with us as we head through tonight. A very weak trough of low pressure riding across the Great Lakes may touch off a flurry or two, but I think most of us will stay dry here as we head through the overnight. I don't think we'll see the freezing fog problem repeat itself into tomorrow morning either. It looks like here with this trough going through that our surface winds will be calm through the evening, but will pick up very slightly through the overnight and that five to 10 mile per hour wind towards sunrise should keep uh, any major problems from forming. We'll keep an eye on it here for you as we go through the rest of the night time, but the cold air most definitely in place right over the top of us. The good news is back to our west to our south. There is milder air to be had. We'll tap into a little bit of it for Thursday and Friday, but more so as we go into the upcoming weekend. So for the rest of tonight, we'll call for mostly cloudy skies still on the cold side, waking up tomorrow right around 8 degrees. And as we do go through the day tomorrow, I think we start partly cloudy, a little bit of sun in the morning, but we cloud up through the midday and afternoon. High temperatures mid 20s, but a chance for a few passing flurries as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. No accumulations expected there. We'll show you the numbers for the upcoming weekend and when we think we might get another shot at some measurable snowfall. We'll cover all of it coming up tonight at 11 o'clock on NBC 24 News. Make sure you join us then.